Are we dead? Uh, not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? Miss Slimy Cave. It is... A big old stomach. Nebula. How can I... What the hell is she doing? Laura, wait! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. It can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. I wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. We're gonna get you help, okay? Rocket can fix anything. <sighs> Not this time. <laughs> it's getting system failures. The cybernetic parts of me are going dark. Organics will go offline much quicker. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I loved her. You should tell her exactly how you feel. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? I can't. I can't. I'm a living reminder of her time with Thanos. She can't move on until that last, that last piece of it is gone. And things will be better soon. For everyone. Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter. For listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is. I'll tell her what you said. I've been afraid of how she might react for so long, but... <laughs> I'm already dying. <laughs> that could happen. Hey. Hey. Do, uh... Do you want me to... I don't know people. Uh, trying to fix me. I, uh... Yeah. I get that. 
There's something I need to tell you. Sister, what is it? I... I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Mora, you don't need to be here right now. We understand. This is better for me. I want to help. In the end, she was one of us. A guardian. I think she liked it. Being part of something good for once. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh, yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gamor. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships! There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. Exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float, the easier it'll be to get airborne. Desperate times, right? When aren't they? Ah! No! Please don't tell me the answer. Well, we didn't burst into flames. Time for round two. As long as 
as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. Rocket, any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Noble Greece. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill! Hey, I'm doing my best out here. I'm inside an upset stomach. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of that. No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any. No, Drax! There's a rhythm to it. More toy. Ugh. Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so 
Yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Great. More rocks in my way. Mind if I do? Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to get anything off of this one. to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Bingo! On it. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this! I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns! Yeah, but check it out! Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Just, please, focus on your own things. We have to get as light as possible, so it's time for some hard choices. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh. That's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm proud that you found the strength to do that, man. 
Well, they were not heavy things. It was easy. Well, <laughs> thanks for listening to me. At least someone does. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh man... Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. Alright. Let's get started. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a... trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Hey, it's the thought that counts. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. Alright. Let's see what we got over here. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, cause after today we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They helped me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. I mean, the galaxy is a dangerous place. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before. But I wish I had something to throw away, to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are, and I do not want to throw you away. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends. That you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. 
Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego's swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. I am Groot. Man, that is... really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You... should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? Death Trap! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. You don't know that. He ran just as the other creatures appeared. Yeah, he's gotta go. Sorry, little buddy. Excellent. Please, allow me. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. But you said... to be a part of the team. Yes, but it's mine. Yes, yours to give away. Politely decline. Let the bug keep it, Pete. Jeez. He obviously does not want me to have the baking glove. Uh, uh, <coughs> baseball. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Okay. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself it's real weird and all but even with everything we're ditching it's still gonna be close we want to play it safe we gotta toss it okay you win today's the day the music dies drex <laughs> It is dead. Okay. With that thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped, and those extra engines, we should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I installed the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly.